Is everybody ready to do some juicing today? We have some apples, some kale, got a pineapple, we got our ginger and our turmeric. We have our uh, parsley and cucumbers. Uh, some lemons and my good old uh, Green Star Elite Juicer, which is awesome. So let's uh, get ready to have some fun. Today we will be making my favorite juice. First, I will start out by prepping everything. The apples I cut in the ace, they fit in the juice a little bit better that way. Make sure you buy a good paring knife, it works way better. Sharper knife is not a more dangerous knife. It's actually safer because it easily goes through everything. This is my favorite juice I made so far. If it's not quite sweet enough for you, it's real simple. All you gotta do is add a little bit more apple, or you can add some pineapple or any other fruit that has a nice sweet flavor to it. For the pineapple, after I cut the top off, the whole pineapple gets put in the juicer. None of it's wasted. We'll get out the big knife for that. One thing you don't want to put in there is the rinds from like lemons and oranges. Some people do it and I don't know why because it tastes terrible. Just add in a chunk of turmeric, give it an extra little kick, use a nice little piece. Same with ginger, just break a chunk off, throw it in. And I'll also grab a piece of garlic. I might just put one piece of garlic in with it. That, you just throw in the juicer as is, real simple. For the cucumbers, I cut them halfway. Then I cut them length lot-wise in the quarters. I'm putting all my stuff in containers so it makes it easy and quick to put in the juicer. Also prevents a lot of making a big mess, which I'm good at doing. I really like using cucumbers in my drink. It gives it a good fresh flavor and you also get a lot of juice out of your, out of your cucumbers. And I got this perfect setup here. I'm flipping this upside down and I can put my juicer right up to the edge that'll catch all the juice instead of using this little thing that fills up way too fast I put a big pitcher under here I'm gonna start out by putting the ginger the turmeric and the garlic in and uh, you'll notice how nice and quiet this machine is I have another machine which is terribly loud and not near as, as efficient. Uh, 
Now we'll start out with a little bit of parsley. This thing loves parsley. It goes in so easy. Now it's time to cut a lemon. This is how I like to cut a lemon. I like flaying it like almost like it's a fish. You don't want that skin in there. See how nice and clean that came? And just a tiny bit on there, that little bit won't hurt. I'm going to show you how nice this setup works here. With this hanging over the sink like this, all the juice falls right in there and the pump goes just straight in the sink so I can put it in the garbage disposal. I'm pushing all my lemons down in right now. Now a couple apples. how good this uh, juicer does with getting all the juice out here's a chunk of the leftovers I can't get anything at all out of that that's awesome my old juicer you could just wring the juice out it was so wasteful I couldn't stand using it anymore well, I think I might have made a little bit too much juice I filled up every container I could possibly find. This isn't even all of it. Oh, I filled up every container I could find. It turned out excellent. And let's see how it tastes. definitely taste all the spice in it from the turmeric and garlic and ginger oh I have about two days worth of juice now I usually don't like to make this much I tried to make a little bit bigger batch and it turned out being a lot bigger batch <laughs>